I'm a brick. Uh -huh. She's a brick. No way. He's a brick. Oh, way. We're all bricks and y'all. Okay, changed my mind. New things are happening. I happen to have this crazy ass game and watch that counts down a timer. So, I guess it would help if you could see the game and watch. Ta da! I'm gonna try to do this box opening in 10 minutes because batteries are gonna die. Laptop batteries are gonna die. Uh, timer's gonna die. Phone battery's gonna die. So, welcome to the quickness of opening the winner drop of Magic the Gathering. I waited far too long for this because I am now backed up on secret layers. And I have the Street Fighter secret layer coming soon. So I've been holding these off for far too long. And our goal today is not necessarily the coolness of the art of the secret layers proper, like the Ur Dragon over here, the Lightning Bolts, the Reaper King of the Kaleidoscope Killers, the Serum Visions, packs, anything like that. All this stuff is cool. Our goal today is I have 56 boxes. And each box is a secret back card. In the back card, that's what we're looking for because I found some what I call schematic magic cards, all artifacts drawn in a schematic fashion, and those are really badass to me, but I only got two of them. I got a Swift Foot Boots last time and a Panharmonicon, and I'm hoping there's more. And so for those of you that can see and enjoy it, yes, it's glitchy. The battery power makes a problem. I'm running off of a hot spot right now, and we're just gonna be cracking boxes. There's like some order to it here. We have the secret layer. Okay, this drop is special because this one is the secret Lex Arcane. This is the special winner drop that had the crossover with Arcane. So let's crack those first. Because if no one's watched the show on Netflix and no one likes League of Legends, I think you're missing out because uh, the lore is pretty badass. And so what I found interesting is on the box these say traditional foils for some reason, while some of these say just say foil edition or or as in the case of this crocodile, Jackson's Menagerie, Monstrous Menagerie, it's foil etched edition. I don't know what foiling needs in Magic anymore. Foiling just seems to, to be whatever the fuck they mean. But since I don't have time and I got seven minutes to do this, we're just cracking boxes. If dangerous ideas didn't excite the imagination, we would never wander astray. Okay, you guys are putting clever little things on your boxes here. All right, secret card number one is a Summoner's Rift. What the hell is this? Is that Command Tower? Okay, that's cool. So the secret card for the Arcane Lands is a com alternate Command Tower in... Hope you're, you're an Arcane person. Do you know what Summoner's Rift is? In relativity to Lee? Yes. It's the map. It's All the right, map so you, you get the map that you play on as a Commander Land. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. That's actually really freaking cool. And the box is gold. That's really cool. Yeah, right? It really likes gold. Wow. All right, let's... Okay, so that's the secret card. So arcane, arcane foil set down. Next one. All right, we're going to worry about packaging later. On the foil you go. Here we go, here we go. So this is also the Arcane Lands, but non-foil edition, which also comes with a Command Rift, or Summoner's Rift, a command, which is Command Tower and Commander. Perfect. I really like the art on that. Like, Jesus Christ, the art is good on that shit. Like, really good. Considering there's some Command Towers out there, I hate... Okay, being distracted. Look, look at this packaging. Packaging just... The glue is stronger than the packaging. Come on, Magic. Ooh, wow. So traditional foil just seems to mean regular foil with all the curls that come associated with curling. Look at this curling. Look at this ridiculous curling that comes with secret layers. Those are dark. Wow. Magic, can you make your, your colors this dark on your cards? Why does Arcane get this cool treatment? Where their, their lands are darker colors. I call shenanigans. So that's the secret Blair X Arcane lands. 
means up next is the actual the actual stuff that comes with that is everyone plays with. Lands are cool, but lands are a plenty. And the flip card is Spore Frog. Sacrifice Spore Frog. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Gromp. Interesting. It says it's a frog, but it looks like a snake. It's more like a toad. And then, of course, I gotta crack the pack because I forgot what comes in Arcane. I do remember a big money card being one of them. We got Path to Exile. There it is. Ristic Study. There it is. That's the money card in the set. I love this dress. This is my favorite dress art. And then, Seize the Day. This is a. That's Jax, isn't it? No. Who's the red hair girl? Vi. Vi, okay. Then Denting Blows, Crows and Glip, Counterflux, and of course, the Hex Core, because Thran Dynamo is a card. This was unfair! This card is a crossover. We got four minutes left. Crossover with Arcanon gets eight cards! Five lands and two other lands, and it gets seven cards and a bonus card. That's, that's a lot of cards for the crossover sets that Makes me feel really unfair that the crossover sets get more cards per box than, say, magic sets that only get three or five in them for some reason. What are you doing, magic? Making money. Well, besides making money. <laughs> making more money. <laughs> Alright, so that means Arcane has a set secret spot. The set secret slot is Gromp in the Arcane pack and the arcade lands pack it is a command tower which actually i think i like a lot i really really like the command tower and completely forgot to get ristic study that kind of helps the decision of today's secret layer that is currently going on as this video is recording in the month of july one day left as of this recording is recording you can still get one of the ones that comes with ristic study so do i if you guys need ristic studies i might be giving ristic studies to my friends Gaznavi and Mur Murofo Games. Gotta shout them out. My friend buys almost all my cards. And Mr. Gaznavi here on tcgplayer.com. Gaznavi and Mur Murufo Games. These guys have been my friends for 15 years. If you need any of these products that I'm currently opening, you're probably going to see him on his store with all of these products, considering I'm just trying to resell them for for the community and whatnot i really like secret layers uh, i've been trying to figure out if i like secret years layers for years and it turns out i do so you know what i'm gonna keep buying them other people are gonna keep being skeptical of them and i will provide them to the rest of you guys either through myself or through my lovely friend gaznavi and morofo games at tcgplayer.com check them out please all right so we're going to go with the Crocodile Jackson's Monstrous Menagerie because I want to know what foil etched looks like in this set. Oh, we should go back. Thank you for the shout out. Got to go back to... There we go. Right. Now we're back. Now we're back. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to cheat. The cards. So Crocodile Menagerie, what's your secret? Your secret is Lurking Crocodile. Bloodthirst and Island Walk. Eh. All right, so it's the Crocodile Menagerie has the set, as a set slot. It's not a random slot. You know, Wizards, you really need to start letting us know which slots are the random slot and the not random slot. Because, like, really get my hopes up hoping we're going to get random artifacts when I don't. And I really want to stop getting my hopes up in that regard. So I don't even know if Lurking Crocodile is that good. Island Walk and Bloodthirst. Like, seems weird because the rest of the cards in this pack... Are definitely good. The rest of the cards are Ravenous Chupacadra, Mana Gorgia Hydra, Pathbreaker Ibex is absolutely absurd. Tamir Sabretooth and Winding Constrictor. Decks are made around Winding Constrictor. Look at this art. Look at this art. Anyways. Lurking Crocodile, go sit over there. Alright, we're gonna hit reset, so we've been 10 minutes in with the gameplay timer. So hopefully I can do the rest of this in uh, 10 more minutes because I'm pretty sure my battery is going to die in 10 minutes.
Churn and burn, baby. Churn and burn. All right, we already know this is all the same. Yep. Lurking crocodile. Lurking crocodile comes over here. Got to see what the foil etched looks like because that's the whole point I open this. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Resetting timer. Go. Okay. Timer active. Okay. This is the this is the most this is the most beautiful etch cards I've ever opened. These cards are perfectly straight. These cards are gorgeous. These cards do not look like these cards. They have like the gold pops out. That is that is that is awesome. Look, the, the creatures like the background is slightly foil, but the creatures are more foil. And it's perfectly straight. Wizards, this is what you need to do. More of this. More of this. Less of this. These are all secret layer cards. You can tell which ones are foil and non-foil just by looking at them. It's ridiculous. That, that's, that's my favorite opening so far. Holy shit. I really like those cards. Alright. Everyone get back in your box. The amount of trash that is produced from these freaking products is absolutely absurd. Okay, okay. So, next up, next up, let's just get rid of the lands. So we got Dracula lands, Pixel Snow lands, Dracula lands, Pixel Snow lands, and Pixel Snow lands foil etched edition. Because the foil etch seems to mean something. So Dracula, you're gonna sit here for now. Pixel, let's go. Oh my god! Those look better in person than on the website. What the crap? Oh, I, get, I just get... Okay, so this one's a random slot, because this is a mountain from Jumpstart. Jumpstart did not have... Um, it's a dragon mountain, so this is one of the dragon sets. So you can see the dragon shadow in it. So this is the random slot. So the pixel lands are going to be... Okay, 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 okay. So the pixel lands are going to be the random slot. That's the one I'm looking for the most. And if they just give me nothing but dragon mounts, I'm going to be pissed. Oh my god. Hope, I need your second opinion on this. Look how gorgeous these are. Oh yeah! I've never seen magic cards pop like that. And that's compared to, those are the regular, so here's the foil version that's not etched, because, uh, in this box over here, can, can I see on camera? Can I, I need to bring it on camera. This box right here is, is nine Pixel Snowlands, four Dracula lands, and they're all etched. So the fact that I'm in awe of how beautiful these etched cards look, right here, these etched cards, I have 10 copies of them. Look how they shimmer in the light. What the hell? That is absolutely amazing. And they have the 90s aesthetic of the, the, the font and the, the way the... Everything is pixelated, but everything is etched. I, I'm so sorry this is taking up this much of the video. Like, wow. That is really cool. All right. So this is the regular foil. See, already I don't like it. Freaking curled. The etch is where you need to do this, wizard. Stop giving us traditional curves right out of the package. Just completely, I can make a U. And those do not pop nearly as well as they do on the etch. Look at the difference. Like, you can see the pixels way better on the etched version than you can on the traditional foil. Plus the curling. Like, I don't even know if that's the most curled cards out of the box I've ever got. Usually the curling happens within weeks of doing this, but the curling is just right now evident. Okay. Secret card is... Oh, cool! Okay, so it is random slot. 
So the secret lands are, this is a dinosaur land from Jumpstart. You can see all the cool little dinos and the art. Alright, how do I do this any faster? You realize that I already opened that and get rid of it. Bye bye. Foil etched edition, foil edition, foil etched edition. Get rid of this stuff. Oh, I forgot. It's five boxes to open five cards. Like, come on, wizards. I, I, I'm all for the fun of opening things, but sometimes you guys take it a little bit too far. Secret card is some kind of forest with spears on it. Is that elf? an elf forest? That must be an elf forest. And yeah, of course, I have to track non-foil cards, because a lot of my friends prefer non-foil cards. A lot of magic players in existence prefer non-foil versions of cards, and yeah, yeah, those are super clean. The non-foil versions are incredibly nice. I, I've never knocked the non-foil secret layers. Non-foil secret layers are probably the best, the best product you could buy from Wizards to get exactly what you want. They're going to appreciate in value, there's no curling to them, and they have some of the most gorgeous art on non-foil secret layers. Yes, I get it. I only have so many minutes. I might be able to get 30 minutes out of this. In fact, I'm going to check that. Who cares? Things are going to die. Dracula, go. Dracula, go. Dracula, go. Go, 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 Dracula. And Dracula and secret planes of some kind. Man, they really like to give out those jumpstart planes and lands. Like, fucking A. I apologize that the video cuts out early. It seems to be all I'm getting is... Jumpstart lands. So, so much for the schematic artifacts that everyone was getting in previous secret layer drops. Thank you, computer. I'm, I'm very well aware of what's going on right now. Dracula. Special planes. Dracula foil, foil, special planes, glue up the ass.